So as you can see by the title, today's topic is going to be fake friends. And I'm sure a lot of y'all have dealt with people like this in your life, whether it be crazy fake or just a little fake. There's obviously levels to fakeness and people can decide to put on an expression for years or months or even a few days and then just get what they want and leave. But I wanted to talk about an experience that I just recently had with somebody that I've known for maybe around four or five years. And I thought it was a really good lesson because Throughout the entire friendship I had with this person, I kind of suspected something was up with their energy and something was up with just the way they carried themselves and how they acted towards me. And I should have just listened to my intuition the entire time, but I didn't. And they eventually just showed their true colors eventually. But I figured this would be a useful story for some of y'all because I'm sure maybe some of the people watching this video kind of feel a way towards some of the people in their friend group, but they don't know exactly how to address it or how to confront it. Um, because it is hard because they're they're your friend, you know what I'm saying? Or they're your so-called friend and you don't want to come off as like a dick or anything like that and um, Potentially end what you think is a good friendship, but I'm gonna just start this from the beginning I had met this person in freshman year I believe maybe sophomore year when I was 16 But I believe it was freshman year and I met him on snapchat believe it or not It wasn't like a person that I had met in real life because at the time I had social anxiety So I wasn't all about going and meeting people in school just because I felt like not a lot of people fucked with me. And so I met him on Snapchat and he went to a different school as well that my other homie went to. And I'm actually still cool with my other homie to this day. He even lives with me. He's my roommate. But I met this dude and our first, uh, I guess, bond that we had uh, was just sending memes to each other, sending like crazy dark humor memes to each other, sending like, by this point, I look at the memes and I cringe because they're just so deep in the meme rabbit hole that you'd have to, you'd be only able to understand them if you were watching memes every day, if you get what I'm saying. Like memes that are just like a solid picture of a dog saying like, ass. I don't, I, that's a bad example, but I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's like just really weird memes that would make a meme addict laugh. And when I had first met this person, I was like, oh damn, like I finally found somebody that has the same humor as me, not even realizing my humor was so fucked up and so weird, you know what I'm saying? But I, at first I was like, okay, I found somebody who finally has the same sense of humor as I do. They make the same fucked up jokes, they do this and that, and that's cool, right? If you find somebody that... If you find somebody that has the same sense of humor as you, that's dope. But it, it was interesting because that was literally all we talked about. We would talk about maybe vaping and memes, which is so corny now that I think about it. I eventually pulled up on this dude with my homie. We checked out his spot. His, his mom was there and stuff like that. We just vaped. It, we were 16 just vaping and watching TV. Relatively typical shit that, you know, teenagers would be doing in the Midwest in 20, what, 19. I never really noticed a progression of this dude. It was just kind of like inhaling or smoking or vaping and memes. And he was the type of dude to like spout, like spit out a meme reference every 30 seconds and not listen to when we're talking about some serious shit and just try to revert it back to memes. Obviously it wasn't like all the time, but it was pretty damn often. He was really annoying if I'm keeping it real. But I saw past it cause I was like, at least I have him as a friend, you know what I'm saying? And at the time I didn't really have many options cause I already, I had already fucked up my chances in high school by just being a weirdo. So it is what it is. Had him as my friend, treated him with respect. It was cool for around two, three years. We would just hang out, smoke and watch memes. Which, now that I think about it, it's like, if you want somebody as a friend, you gotta, it eventually has to get to a level to where y'all are talking about some real shit. I'm not talking about all the time, right? There's times where you can be real and there's times where you can mess around, but it was literally all the time, just us dicking around, just talking about a bunch of memes and just playing video games. It was so, such an unproductive friendship, if you get what I'm saying. And eventually he got his own spot and I got my own spot and it was just the same shit. And I even fell into the rabbit hole myself of just smoking weed and watching or memes, yeah. And one thing I wanna let y'all know, if you have friends in your circle that are being unproductive with you or doing the same stuff uh, that is that are destructive habits, and I'm not saying like weed is like the worst thing in the world, but if you have friends that are enabling that behavior or tolerating it, it's gonna be a lot harder for y'all to get out of them. I just want y'all to know that. It's harder to have 
good friends. It's it's easier to have bad friends, if you get what I'm saying. It's easier to have friends that'll just be like, hey, yeah, man, smoke every day. Hey, yeah, man, play video games every day. Do this every day. You know what I'm saying? It's easier to pick those types of people. It's harder to find people that will hold you accountable and be like, hey, man, you're fucking smoking a lot. You should probably quit. And those were the friends that uh, really helped me get out of this funk I was in. So what I never realized was that this dude was never a good friend. He was kind of just a friend that I that I had on the side, but I treated him like a best friend, even though there was no reason to why he was deserving of that role. Because um, all we'd do is smoke and, and watch memes, bro. It was that boring. I didn't even really enjoy the times hanging out with him, but I didn't I couldn't find a way to tell it to him because it would just come off as disrespectful. Even though I knew what I was thinking the whole time, I was like, what the fuck are we doing, bro? What are we doing? We're just, we do this every single time we hang out. And then there was another side of me that was like, oh, but he's a friend, he's cool, right? So it was, I was split, but now realizing and looking back and reflecting on it, he wasn't a good friend. Eventually, I noticed that he was playing CSGO so damn often, so I was like, this was my mistake. I was like, hey, bro, you should make a YouTube channel and I'll, I'll help you out. I offered help for no reason because I'm the type of person that when I see potential in something, I, I really want to see somebody's dreams blossom, if you get what I'm saying. It's just out of the generosity of my own heart. I just wanted to see that happen for him, even though he had, he had no reason to be deserving of that. So basically, I told him, all right, upload a few videos and then I'll shout you out. I eventually shouted him out or I put him in my little channel uh, box. Grew him to a few thousand followers and... And by this point, this is when I started to kind of come back to reality. I was like, okay, I have this friend that just smokes weed and watches memes with me and references memes every 30 seconds when we hang out. Annoying as fuck. And I just helped him out and he's not helping me in any sort of way. And I firmly believe that good friendships have mutual benefit. And people look at that and they're like, oh, well, that seems transactional. That seems no, it's out of a, an agreement between two people. Y'all are going to grow together. Y'all are going to help each other out. You know what I'm saying? But eventually um, I started kind of just ignoring him or not even ignoring him. But whenever he'd swipe up on my Snapchat stories, he would swipe up with some weird shit every single time. I'd post like a normal story of me just having fun. And he'll swipe up with some random shit. Like, I remember one time he swiped up with bull semen. And it's like, all right, if, if you watch a bunch of memes, that's funny to y'all. But I'm looking at this like, what the fuck? What is he talking about, bro? Like, to a person that watches memes every day, it'd be funny because it's like a curveball out of nowhere. But to me, I, I kind of got out of that watching memes every day shit. And I was just looking at this like, what is this dude on? And as time passed, I kept on just leaving him unopened, leaving him undelivered. And it's not even an ego thing. It's just like, how do I respond to this? I don't want to respond to this. A lot of people confuse that. They're like, oh, this person's trying to ego me. This person leave, left me on delivered. They're trying to ego me. No, that you just swiped up with some weak shit or you hit them with, with some weak shit. So basically, this was the moment. This happened two days ago. And I was shocked when I saw this shit. He swiped up on my story and said, I, I of a picture of my homie playing pool. It's random, right? And he swipes up on some shit like this. And it, this is a paraphrase because I already blocked him. I don't remember exactly what he said. But he was trying to say, to be honest, man, you're not being a man by by leaving me on red and leaving me on delivered. What's up? This is almost done, bro. Because I'm, I'm just letting it flow out. And honestly, I've been seeing you lose yourself, man. You're not acting like how you used to. You're very egocentric now. You You think you're the shit. And it came off as just like, straight saltiness so i responded with like bro that's what like ex-girlfriends of mine respond to whenever i post some shit and move on he had straight bitch energy with that swipe up and it's not even about a gender thing just straight bitch and then he just kept going after i responded with that he was like nah you ain't the shit do you know what i have to go through every day i have to work because he works a nine to five job and he travels do you know what I have to do? I'm a man, like, just straight weird shit, right? This is when his true colors finally started to spill out about how he felt. Seeing me elevate my life and move on and have fun with my friends for once instead of just smoking weed and watching memes, he got real salty. 
it was interesting to see. I, I, I was laughing while seeing this whole thing. I was with my homie watching this shit, just laughing. We were on the floor. So eventually I just start trolling him. Cause by this point, I'm just like, damn, bro. A friend of five years is really coming out with this crazy shit now after I've elevated myself and I've gotten myself right and I've focused on improving my body, my health, my mental, all of this shit. He thinks it's an act because he can't even get out of that depressed mindset. He has to over overcompensate all the time. And it was very evident with his response. And he sees me change stuff on the YouTube as well, like just my act and how I make my videos. And he thinks I'm being authentic when really this is the most authentic I've ever been. And I'm sure y'all can tell there's less jump cuts in this video. I'm looking at the camera more and being able to speak with my chest for once and being able to say how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can tell that I'm being more authentic, but he couldn't take it, bro. He couldn't take it because he wanted to drag me down to this level of just being this low energy motherfucker who just smoked weed and watched memes all day. And I'm not going to stay there. So I stood on what I said when I told him, yo, you're fucking bugging, dog. You're tripping. And then he just melted. He melted down. It was pathetic. And one thing worth noting, during the time I was friends with this dude, I was a really low energy motherfucker. That's why I was cool with just smoking weed all the time and watching memes all the time. I was just so low energy. I didn't have any excitement, real excitement in my life or any joy or happiness. I was just, I, I would even talk shit with him about random shit. We would just talk shit on stuff. It was just this negative vibe the, the entire time knowing him. But I figured I'd let you know about my story with that. And if y'all have any low energy people in your circle, my best advice, cut that shit off, bro. Cut it off. Because it's not even, it's not worth it to keep it in the long run. Because it's, it's, it's like, sure, they might agree with you on things. Sure, you might have common interests with this person but if they're trying to bring you down and not help you not even just bring you down but if they're not trying to help you grow and you're trying to help them grow it's pointless it is pointless bro but yeah take that with two cents uh i know he's gonna be watching this so yeah suck my dick swallow it tell your friends how good it tastes